Hello and welcome to another video. This time I'm here with the greatsword, uh, longsword. Again, this one's actually the rare greatsword, uh, exact name. And 127 damage, not terrible, plus elemental damage, that's kind of terrible. But I'm going to go ahead and use this, and I'm going to try to only use backhands. Um, so instead of this is more of a, a forehand strike, at least I play tennis, so I call this forehand and this is backhand, um, but kind of like this would be a tennis forehand and this would be a tennis backhand, but it's a little different in swordsmanship and I may not be totally correct on the terms here, but yeah, I'm going to do that. And I also have the, what is it, exo perk of critical plus 40% chance to add increased melee damage by 200%. So I'm going to see what I can do here with these two daggers as well, um, just for killing exploding stuff, and just have that long range option. But I'm actually going to do Twilight Vaults. Um, so this is a uh, dungeon that I was not able to complete before. I also think my boundary isn't low enough or something i feel like this is unusually high but whatever um so yeah this i actually tried to make a video with this exact same loadout and it turned out to be super stuttery and definitely not worth uploading because it would just hurt everybody's eyes so i'm gonna do this again i actually failed twice in a row and i was gonna upload it but of course as i just said um but yeah i'm gonna see if i i don't fail this time on tier 7 difficulty it is pretty difficult because this sword is kind of bad. <laughs> Just doesn't have anything special. If I had the fire perk or the critical perk or uh, attack perk, basically anything but elemental perk, it would be better. At least it's got some decent damage, so I can work with that. And honestly, I just wasn't super careful when I did this before. And I could have used potions and I would have been totally fine, but... I, again, forgot to bring potions, so we're going to see what I can do. Here's the key. There's always a key hidden in there, and we got that. Okay. Fantastic. Ugh. What do I take? Almost half of my health, but resurrect. Going to be completely useless in this, uh, <laughs> this dungeon of single player. Okay, here we go. Backhands. So, yeah, basically... There was a discussion in the Discord about uh, whether the backhands register okay. And that's that's the time where I can't register it. When I'm running in the opposite direction. Ooh, weird. Let me grab this. Um, but yeah, so if I run in the opposite direction, say over here, and I swing back, it's a lot harder to get that hit than if I run on the right side and I swing at it. So yeah, again, that's, I guess it's still possible, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm registering almost all these hits. So it's working pretty well. Um, I'll do one more room with that. Cause these were just critters in this room, but yeah, look at the map real quick going this way. Ooh, a key. Nice. There we go. And this room. Okay. I feel like I died in this room. No, I don't think I did. I think this room I was fine with. But, ooh, weird. Nice. Getting all these kills. Good. Man, these scorpions are tanky. Ooh, there we go. Ugh. Yeah, that was kind of bad. Ugh. So, I also heard in the podcast... Oh, bad, bad, bad. Um, the Rough Talk podcast where these guys from... As I said, the Rough Talk podcast. Um, they interviewed Ryan, one of the developers in this game uh, for Other Gate. And... Ooh, weird. When they're on the ground, it's it's especially hard to get that hit. Um, ooh, gotta get away from that ice guy. Make sure he doesn't off me. Don't want to get frozen. Ooh, there we go. Um, 
But yeah, so they, I find that, found out in that interview that doing a backhand, or sorry, not even a backhand, what am I talking about? Uh, those skeletons, you'll see some of them are armored, some of them are not armored. The armored skeletons, actually all of them are armored, some are just more armored than others, but the ones with more armor don't have as many weak points, but apparently the ones with less have some weak points at their arms or their legs or shoulder, whatever, in random places, it may be even their head sometimes. Um, and so if you target those weak spots, according to the developer, it's... Also, that's, I think, poison barrel. Yeah, it is. But yeah, if you target the weak points... Okay, come down here, wasp. Gosh darn. <laughs> Annoying. Okay. There we go. I can grab him now. Ugh. Good. And... Yeah, so I'm going to try to target those weak points a little better. Oh, that was a critical hit. Good on me. Ugh. Got him. Got him. All right. Dead. Fantastic. Just some more scorpions. Don't need any more health potions. And I'm going to get this chest up here. Um... But yeah, so it looks like the, the backhand's working pretty well, so I'm actually not going to do this whole dungeon with the backhand. Um, actually, no, I will. I'm going to do it uh, if I finish it. And then if I don't finish it with the backhand, then I'm just going to do um, both. I, I'm just going to do whatever I, I can to survive and beat the dungeon. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Good. But yeah, so I don't know. Maybe if you swing... Um, if you swing... Cause I, okay, so I, I think you can hit enemies no matter what in any position of their body, whether they have armor there or not. But it just depends how hard you swing with melee weapons is what I've come to believe. And But then when it comes to like bows, a lot of times I see a rec uh, the arrows ricochet off of enemies, and I think, uh, of course, when it hits their sword, that's what happens, but sometimes it's just seemingly random. Um, but I guess that's where they're armored, that's my bet. Um, now that I heard that official word from the developer, okay. Unless for some reason he also doesn't know... <laughs> know the game super well either but I'm, I'm pretty sure he knows his own game break that real quick and I just oh my gosh so many of these guys oh oh my wow there we go jeez also um, whenever I'm running away from those guys and I have to throw something at them it's good to stand still when you're throwing it throwing the weapon at them uh, cause otherwise you'll have backward momentum. So doing this, you can see is, is hard. Even when I throw forward, it just goes super slow. But if I stop and throw, it'll go faster. If I stop, move forward and throw, it'll go even faster. So just a, a little tip there with the daggers, but not that this is really a dagger video. Okay, now I gotta get the skeleton key and put it in the slot. There we go. Nice. And yeah, I haven't been making a ton of videos recently. And as I keep saying, I'm trying to get multiplayer videos and I should be able to get one after this, but it is, again, not as convenient as making these single player videos. I, I don't. Uh, don't have to get together with a group and make sure they're okay with recording and everything. I can just start the recording. Also, this room is where I died. Oh, yeah, see that. Oh, but. Well. Huh. That's. <laughs> that sucks. The barrel, I. I was, I was so focused on not getting hit by the arrow. <laughs> the uh, frozen arrow that I just got destroyed by a exploding barrel. 
Also, I did get weapon modules. I don't know what that's on about. Zero weapon modules. Maybe because I failed. I don't. I didn't think that was a thing. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again. See if I can not fail it. This is just an unusually weirdly difficult dungeon. This time, I'm gonna do forehands and backhands and see if I can just skip some of those rooms that I don't need to. Well, I don't know. Those those two rooms they still had loot. So, I probably won't skip them, but I am going to try to speedrun it a little bit more, kill things as fast as possible. Alright, there's the key in the same spot as last time for some reason. Let's see if I got a mimic, not this time. Ooh, rare montance. Give me an unblockable on that one, please. Okay, and another exploding barrel. Oh, ah. There's one hit and two. Good. There we go. Dead bug. Oh, yeah, I forget they don't always die in one hit. Only if I hit the critical shot on them. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> Just went in a strange position. Okay, now I think there should... Oh, yeah, I hear the map. Yep, it's above me, up here. Yeah, there we go. Not that I need it, because I've done this dungeon now four times, or this is the fourth. <laughs> so, oh, also there should be a key somewhere in here. So I'm going to try to find that real quick. Nah, whatever. We're good. Over here, maybe? No? Okay. Yeah, I don't have... That's okay. Start this one. Grab this. Ooh. Got him. Oh, not getting those hits. Ooh, no. He was blocking too well, just by keeping his weapon in the same spot. Got him. Ugh. See, this guy d didn't have armor on his arms. That guy didn't either. He didn't really have much armor anywhere. Ugh. There we go. That guy has armor everywhere. Got him, though, because ice enemies have less health. There we go. Woo! Weird spot. Got him. Oh! Weirdness. Killing them on the ground. Weird as usual. Okay, fantastic. Got a key. Got two keys. That's good. And continue through. Kill some insects in here. Wherever they happen to be. In the middle, I think. Oh, yep. Here we go. Oh, weirdness. Oh no, I don't want to start a new room. <laughs> Ugh. Got him with a critical shot. Yeah, these guys are easier to just kill with daggers. If I, if I really cared about completing this dungeon, I would use my daggers, but I don't know, I'm just stubbornly not using my daggers. Both this time and all of the times that I've been doing this. Okay, go in this room real quick, grab this chest after killing these guys. Oh, got him. What do we got? Zombie. Ooh. Got him. Fantastic. Okay, we're done with those guys. Grab this key. No mimic still. Lucky me. Okay. Rare knife. I just got a knife with like 130 damage, ice, and poison. Pretty sweet stuff. It's not my favorite looking dagger. It's not this model. I wish it was this model, but it's not. So I think it's slicing blade model. But, oh, actually not that that technically means anything. I don't know. Um, actually, I'm going to go into this room first. No, it does not have a chest. So I'm just going to ignore that room. <laughs> 
go into the next ones. Before I go into this next room over there, do a little parkour to here. Usually you gotta take the chain from down there, which is one of the coolest things when I first saw this room, finding, getting to this chest was a fun little puzzle, finding that secret little entrance. Okay, get this torch, go down here, break some things, not that I need to. In fact, that was a total waste of time getting a gem. <laughs> and nothing down there, okay. Here we are, the place that I died, explosion barrel, not gonna happen this time. Oh, cool, and I get, I hit this guy, oh, okay. Dude's not dying. There we go. What? He's invincible. Weird. I'm like break that so I, I don't die over there. Let me just try to kill these guys. There we go. One down. Oh. Ah. No. Okay. Whew. That's rough. Don't want to get hit by a oh, frozen guy. Oh. I got to get ready to... Do I have a haste? I have a haste. Yeah. So... If I need to, I'm going to pull out that haste if I get hit by the frozen arrow. Um, here, okay. He's way over there. No way he hits this. Okay, wow. That was actually way closer than I thought. Shoot your arrow. Okay, good. Got him. See if there's another frozen guy that pops up. Got them. Oh, jeez. Got hit by that. No! The pain. Drink this small potion. There we go. Got him. Good. Nice. What do we got next? No ice archers, I don't believe. Yeah. Got him. Ow. How'd that guy hit me? There we go. Any more no ice guys? Ow. See ya. Any more guys? I don't think so. Oh, wait. That guy didn't die in the pit? That is crazy. Okay. Whew. Fantastic. Oh, another key. That's good. I could take the chain over there, but might as well just walk up, grab a key, go kabam. Okay. Grab these coins. What did I get? A rare dagger. I think it might have been the model. This model. I don't know for sure. Okay. There's a key right there. That's nice. And yeah, we're two rooms away. Hopefully I don't die here. Oh, okay. Two exploding guys. Definitely got to be careful there. <laughs> okay. See ya. So I got two keys. Um, I'll waste them on this. Oh, yeah. So it is weird. They changed it. So when you open these doors, it just automatically opens for you. You don't have to push it. I kind of like that. It definitely helps for multiplayer when people are like just grabbing the doors and putting it, pulling them in and out and... Yeah, just being able to turn the key and it automatically creaks open. It's perfect. Nothing in there, even though it's a little glitchy. And then this is the last room. I got to this room at some point, but I died because I trapped myself in a corner right here trying to kill an insect, but then some guys came up, jumped behind me, and killed me. So hopefully I won't let that happen this time and also won't let any of the frozen guys kill me either. Ugh. Okay, that was weird. No! Not looking good. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just try to stay in this corner here so I know if things are coming in on me. There we go. Oh! Got him. Ooh, that would have sucked. Die to a 
ice guy coming behind me, even though I was in a spot that they couldn't come behind me. Ooh, ow. 59, I'm good. There we go. And I am near my boundary. That's okay, though. Scorpion trying to snipe me. Okay. Ugh. Man, I can't hit that guy. Ow. 67, we're good. Ooh, the pain. Grabbing a health potion, potion real quick. There we go. Ooh, that could have sucked. Good. Ugh. No. Weird. There we go. Ooh. Ugh. I'm like in my boundary right now. <laughs> Gotta get out of that. Ah. Okay. Good. Nice. This guy, I believe, can kill me in one hit. So I'm going to be careful around him. Just try to... There we go. Doing a decent job. Jumping and hitting him in the head generally does pretty good. Yay! Okay. I did it. Whew. Yeah, so that was a pretty difficult dungeon. We'll see if this time it doesn't stutter enough for me to upload it. Hope. Oh, hey, Scorpion. My last kill without the longsword. But yeah, I did that. Finally. Only took me four tries. But that's what I like about save dungeons. When you don't complete it on the first time, you can just repeat it until you get it right. So that's definitely definitely satisfying. Um, I'm going to delete that now though, because it's not like a special dungeon, just a difficult one. Delete. There we go. And yeah, I did it. I guess this will this was mostly like starting with that backhand greatsword just to see how it worked, and then just finishing it out with a crappy greatsword to see if I was able to beat that hard dungeon, and I did it. So yay. Um, yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh, like, comment, and subscribe. Can't forget that, right? <laughs> okay, see ya.